Hey, I could do that too. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Stiltman Build-A-Figure Waves Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse movies, Peter B. Parker, or Spider-Man. Try and get your Marvel Legends, you can do so at- Search your feelings, you know it to be true. Dark Side Toys is a store for you! Link below. And while you're down there, please go ahead and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. This is looking so dope already. Very much looking forward to this figure over here. On the side, you can see Peter B. Parker. And then on the back, you get this nice image again. There's a read up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. There's the other figures from the wave. And then on this side, you can see Spider-Man again. And then you get the Miles logo spot varnished on the top. Not much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> So we get the Build-A-Figure piece, we get the coffee stain, and we get two sets of interchangeable Spider-Man hands, and then one set of Peter B. Parker hands, and the soda right over there, which surprisingly looks very detailed. Wow, I didn't expect them to have that little accordion feature thing that, you know, you get in straws. That's really cool. I like that a lot. And then you get these little bands going across it right over here. And when you have this wide open hand, uh, sometimes, you know, you may stretch it out a little bit, but if you use the part that has those bands going around it, that makes it hold just a whole lot easier. And then on this side, you get this flat hand right over here. Uh, I think it's called the superfood. I still have my superfood burger. So while the figure has no bagel, uh, at least you get a burger. So that's pretty neat. Well, it doesn't come with the figure, but I have a burger anyway. And then you get these whipping hands right here, which look good you know these are new whipping hands so i do like them and then you get these new fisted hands as well nice cobwebbing pattern in all of them <laughs> So both of these head sculpts look remarkably awesome. I just really see the cartoon movie right here when I look at this. It just makes me very happy to see. I like how this mask looks folded over the top of his head. And then the eye paint looks really good right here on the side of the head. Nice wrinkles and everything. There's no cobweb pattern painted in there. Of course, I would have liked to have had that. And then on the back, you can see a little bit of paint missing in the back of his hair. So you get a flesh tone colored hair for that weird, you know, middle part. So, I mean, but for real, with the details that we're seeing, on the face right over here this looks great i really like it a lot that looks awesome i just wish i had a spider-man head that i could put on this um i tried using you know an amazing spider-man head but uh that's not really fitting on there it doesn't pour it in at all and then any of the more recent spider-man heads like the vintage collection one that's not going to fit or you know one of the pizza spider heads uh yeah that's just not going to work i also thought about using an ultimate spider-man peter parker head and that's the closest to it but it doesn't actually port on there so very frustrating i can't find a spider-man head for that props to the leo legendary for this idea that's where i saw this right here an amazing stop motion by the way you should check out his channel but yeah this is the basic into the spider-verse spider-man head sculpt and it doesn't port on here but it does rest on there so with some sticky tack you could have a masked spider-man from into the spider-verse and the reds match up okay yeah, it's definitely the right design and everything, so I like having this on here. That's kind of neat. They'll probably make another Peter B. Parker or another Into the Spider-Verse Spider-Man, but this head sculpt right here, wow, uh, that one is my favorite. It just looks like it came straight from the movie. I mean, look at that 5 o'clock shadow. That detail right there is amazing. Wow, man. I really dig that smirk, the wrinkles on the forehead, you know, the lines on there. It looks like he does have a little bit of eye blush, blush or, eye, or I guess his face is beat up, right? I guess that's from his face getting beat up. But it looks like there's a little bit of eye shadow right there. But, I mean, I'm just noticing that right now. When I look at this thing, it very much just reminds me of the movie. And I like how the hair is sculpted. The messy hair looks great. So, yeah, I'm really liking both of the head sculpts, but this one is my favorite out of the two. And then looking at the double jointed elbows right here that are pinless, this looks really good. This slight color variation in the plastic for the elbows, I am noticing that. The wrinkles on the back of this trench coat look fantastic, so I'm very happy with that. And then looking at the pins or the buttons right over here, that looks really good. I love that you get all these little gold uh, little details painted in here with each button. So that is very cool to see. That's impressive. And then nice silver paint right there for the zipper. And then looking at the inside right here, I feel like his stomach could have been maybe a little bit bigger 
but I could just be thinking of mine. I don't know. But the black paint right there for the spider logo looks great. Again, uh, some cobwebbing paint would have been nice, but it looks very clean the way it is, and I like it. Tiny little smudge right over there. But yeah, I'll take the trench coat off later if you guys want to see. I forgot to do that with the garments on the Miles Spider-Man, so I'll show that off. But here's the sweats. Nice little wrinkles right over here around the waist, and then nice wrinkles on the sweats and get pinless joints again. Really digging the pinless joints. Boot looks really good. Of course, he has the chuck right over here on the left side. I don't know what other figure this came from. It says this was made in 2018. So did they have this in the chamber this whole time and now they just released this? I don't know. But anyway, uh, looking at the back right there, it looks pretty good. You can see the serial numbers and then there's the spider butt and you can see some of the detail right there in the back. Ah, I'm just going to get this trench coat off right now. So yeah, like I said, I always like to throw the arms back when I do this. And, oh, they do have the sculpted spider logo on the back of this, but it's not painted. I mean, I can't blame them for not painting that. At least they painted this one down here all the way through. But it is a little fascinating. So we may get another uh, Into the Spider-Verse Peter B. Parker Spider-Man figure in the future. Who knows? Eh, I guess while I have that trench coat off, you could see he could bend all the way back that much, but you won't be able to bend that far back when you get the trench coat back on there. So yeah, with the trench coat on here, you're not going to get all of that torso articulation moving back. Uh, but anyway, you can move the heads up very far because you have the dumbbell and hinge joint. You can move the heads all the way down. You get side to side motion and great head pivoting right here. Shoulders move all the way out and they move almost all the way in. That's that's pretty good for me. I like that. And then you get a full rotation right there, bicep swivel. And then you get these great double jointed elbows. However, I will say that the second joint on each of them was very stiff for me. So I recommend heating these up. It was tricky to break those joints in on the second one. All of the hands turn side to side and hinge up and down. And then you get a diaphragm joint that turns side to side. You get diaphragm pivot in there and he will crunch forward that much at just that diaphragm joint and again moving back it's very stiff and then of course you get the rotation you get rotation at the waist and then you get waist pivoting which is uh, really tricky to use but there is some waist pivot so with both joints he will move forward that far which is really good i like that's kind of funny he's looking into the camera and then back uh that far right there uh, again <laughs> the hips move outward that much and then he can kick forward very far let's see you can get his leg all the way around here yeah yeah so you can get the leg kicked all the way out like that so that's very cool and i have no damage over here sweet uh, i'll move back a little bit upper thigh cut and then double jointed knees a little bit on the stiff side but that works out really well and then you do get ankle or calf articulation right here on each side i dig that and then the ankles move down they both move up and he has beautiful ankle pivot bonus thing about this jacket i keep wanting to call it a trench coat but it's a jacket you can go ahead and flip this up and it will stay in position. I don't know, you may get some, uh, you know, like stress marks, maybe. I don't know, I haven't experienced that yet, but that's always helping with the posing. I like that. Now to measure out this Peter Parker figure, you can see that he is standing just a bit over the six and a half inch mark. And then for an Into the Spider-Verse Peter B. Parker comparison, we have the Marvel Legends version, and here's the basic figure, or the Spider-Man from Into the Spider-Verse figure. Then for a Peter Parker comparison, we have our Into the Spider-Verse version next to our 616 version, where I've put the regular Peter Parker head from a spider-man figure on this vintage collection figure right here and yeah you cannot swap the heads i know it, the, the pegs just don't match and then here's peter b parker next to another trench coated spider-man figure more of a large winter coat right but anyway we have spider-man noir from the 616 it'd be nice to get an into the spider-verse version of spider-man noir no and then here's the peter b parker figure next to the other figures from the wave we have the into the spider-verse prowler into the spider-verse miles we have into the spider-verse gwen we have the hand ninja and the freaking frog man over there that looks just so out of place compared to the rest of the figures from this wave. I mean, I love the figure, but still, that's funny. Anyway, Stiltman tomorrow. Ah, how dare I forget. I forgot to include Spider-Ham in this mix, but yeah, so there you go. For your proper size comparisons, we have Spider-Ham too. And then here's Peter B. Parker next to your average section scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends big time badass Spider-Man. Whoa, hey there, dad bod. Wow, well, one too many bagels. Trying to be the next letdown, I see, huh? Or are you trying to be your own new kind of so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please hook it up with a like and hit that subscribe button if you're new here and hit that notification bell and a big thanks to all these people that go the extra mile to support this channel over on the tron if you're interested in helping make this channel grow and you want the perks check it out link in the description below and this figure is a lot of 
fun, man. I really like the posability of it. I love the sculpt of it. Those head sculpts just blow my mind. Uh, they're just absolutely fantastic. So I'm very, very pleased with those. And then again, we get some really good articulation on this figure. So when I get a lot of cool articulation, along with great sculpt i'm just very pleased i guess like the shortcomings are paint apps but at the same time they did get all those uh, buttons and everything throughout on the trench coat but there's no like shading or anything like that on the rest of the figure no cobwebbing paint but still i think it's a badass figure i really like it a lot man and at the price point of 20 bucks i'm gonna give this spider-man or this peter b parker figure a sun rating of <laughs> And I'd like to know what you guys think, so please kindly let me know what you think in the comments section below. I do read my comments. If you want to see the latest in action figure news and a photo gallery of images from this review, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And if you want to follow me over on social media, you can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and Stardust. And I will catch you guys later. Peace! These great double jointed knees. I w <laughs> That's crispy. Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.